Welcome, this is the Tarot Insight channel. And today we are doing a deck of card reading for the end of the month. And to get a closer view of what we're working with, this is Choice of Wands. This is the Choice of Two. And So again, I'm going to give you guys a one to a close-up of your choices. And then we can spin the reading. shows this choice this is all about someone who is being high key so there is someone who is sending off high key vibrations this person um, is absolutely in a zone to let you know that you seem to be you know someone who they are viewing as the best potential spouse this person really views you as being someone who they really, really, really are feeling and they're willing to clear out any other notions of any other way they even expect their life to be um, and look at life in a viewpoint that is coming from the both of you together. This person is not feeling any type of harsh judgments coming from anyone else when it comes to this relationship choice. This person is going to be upfront, like I said, high key and obvious, and they want someone else to hop off. They know that there is an envious vibe in the background. And that's why someone is being mad and they're not about to let them flex or dominate them or demotivate them or judge you harshly. No, they're not feeling any judgment of the relationship in a harsh way. This judgment is coming up here as being something they're not feeling. So, 
this is what's coming up for the first choice. If you chose this, There is a pause coming up. This pause is something that typically occurs when there is some intermission that happens in between cycles. So there is some quiet, some calm before the storm, so to speak. And with this card coming up, it is all about making, making it through some conflict that's going on. There's someone who is coming up as having a desire to make it through some type of conflict here. And then there's self-reflection. And then there is a water sign that is coming up here. This could be um, a cancer sign. This could also be um, a Scorpio or a Pisces sign. And what I'm gathering from this is that this sign is thinking rather highly of you. And it sounds like they could be facing some type of issue. So they're thinking highly of you and they're facing this issue as they go through this momentary chill period. So this typically represents an air sign. And it sounds like they could be facing an issue involving their fears related to an air sign. So this is a Gemini and Aquarius, um, possibly even a Libra. And, you know, they have some fear that's coming into play. They feel as if, you know, if this becomes known, then someone's going to play on their fears, in fact. Well, there's an earth sign that's also showing up in this reading. So this is typically typically going to be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. And this, this person coming in is putting something into um, the water sign's head in regards to them being concerned, being worried about possibly someone usurping them in some manner and this person who they're concerned about, you know, taking over their spot, blowing up their spot, playing on their fears is coming in as someone who is going to be um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius individual. It looks 
just like um, this Taurus, this Virgo, um, this Capricorn. It looks like they are, in fact, trying to talk to you as well and distract you from something that you feel strongly about. And that is going to let you know who this person is, who this water sign is worried about. And there's something that is spiritual. This could be political, spiritual. Um, this could be something that has to do with higher education. And this, what this lets us know is that it feels like your emotions are about to blow through a problem that's related to something political, educational, or spiritual. And erase the skin marks that the issues leave behind, that this major issue and all the little ramifications of it leave behind. So you could possibly be using something that you learn within this arena, a spiritual arena, um, political, educational, And this is going to help you when it comes down to you deciding how to deal with something in particular that's coming up. And if you made this choice, there is some concern coming up. And someone is concerned that you have um, some bonding. There's bonding that could take place with someone. And so this is an issue. This is something that someone could be worried about, the fact that this bonding could occur. And there's another person involved here. And this person... Um, is emanating attraction. So there's mutual attraction. And this person is coming across as having a desire for you to make a choice. Oh, this person needs to make a choice. So this person wants you to say it's this way or it's that way. And they feel that you making a choice is um, apparently something that is necessary and this is a romantic choice that's coming in that this person wants, wants you to make, wants to see you make. And this person is patient. So this person is like, no matter how long it takes, I'm giving this person time. This person is giving you ample time. This person is coming in as someone who isn't going to be drastic in their actions. This person is in the middle of the road and feels that this is the safest way to be. This person feels that there is dark energy around you. So this person is on their P's and Q's. about whatever is transpiring. And so that's what's coming up as being obvious here. So that is a general rundown for um, this end of the month reading for June. And hopefully you can take all of these things into consideration as you take a look at how you want to move forward from here.
Again, this is the Tarot Insight channel. Um, and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart of hearts for all of the views and for tuning in so diligently. All right, guys.